Okay, here's a walk around video of our Triumph Spitfire. It's a Mark II with Mark III bits. And uh, it's just a fun car, really. It's one we haven't used at all. Came in over 18 months ago now. Bought it off a friend. And uh, it is what it is, really. So I'll just go round it. On the seal this side, you'll see it's tucking in a bit further than it should do, really. That line's not quite right there. The whole car's a little bit uh, here and there, to be honest with you. The paint finish overall is not too bad. It's got plenty of knocks and bumps around it. Boot lids, glass fibre. Matches in quite well actually. These are a nightmare to try and get a steel boot. You do see them clap every now and again, but uh, not too often. Period slot alloys. This door isn't the best of fits. And uh, a bit of a gap at the top there. Something's definitely gone on here. It's definitely hiding something. Engine bay is quite nice. The guy spent a bit of time in that. You can see it's had welding down on the chassis. If you go round it, underneath it's had welding here and there. Um, but I think most of it's been done to a reasonable standard. It's not a car that's just going to fall apart tomorrow, but uh, it'll never be a nice one, that's for sure. Yeah, Mark III engine. Stage 1 cam. 1.5 one and SUs. And uh, it's quite a nice pokey engine, actually. It's got the aftermarket aluminium radiator about 500 quid without the fans quite a dear item that inside the bonnet could tidy again it's not hiding any sins Suspension's all quite tight, it's got some poly bushing on it. Roll bar's been painted red, anti roll bar. Mast cylinders are all look quite new. And the wiper motor's been tidied. Painted nicely. 1966 car, this is. Mark four seats. Blue new set of carpets which we haven't cleaned but uh, they are quite new the gauges are all quite tidy a bit of untidy wiring just under the side there it's a bit of tidying up As I say, it's quite responsive. It hasn't been used for some time, so uh, wants a bit of a going through, really. As I say, it's one of those cars, if you go round it, you can pick out a thousand volts, you know, you can see cracks around there in the paint. You can see a little bit there, something going on. But actually, it uh, stands quite well. And it just wants keeping and using 
as it is really, I'm just um, fettling a bit. Just make it nice and reliable and just keep it and use it as it is. Because if you got involved with it, you just never, never stop. But uh, it's been a nice little fun car. I've been round it with a magnet. And there's something on these, like a bit of something on these seals here. It's all metal there. And these are like a cover. I'm not quite sure what someone's done there. But it's it's good metal all the way along. And so it's not quite as good there. Same in there. But come on, it's 1966. It looks like it is one of those cars that's just never been restored. It's just been played around with, modified and enjoyed. Into the boot area. And in the places where it's normally common for them to go, you know, you can sort of push around. It's not, it's not rotten, but it's certainly not pretty. It's just, uh, and even there where it's showing signs of surface rush, you know, you can push hard on it. There's no, uh, no pushing through. So there you go, that's what it is. It's a Mark II Spitfire with a Mark III bonnet. Mark III engine, and uh, that's really where it is. It will never be a proper Mark II again, I don't think. So there you go. If you need any more information? Call us on 07876-616-886. Thanks for looking.